Hey everyone, Brad Clark here from Rigging Dojo. I just wanted to share um, two quick tips. Uh, one is just um, just a handy thing when you're building geometry. Uh, if you want to start off the creation of an object at the like snapping to a joint, you can hold the V key down to start vertex snap. Uh, click, let go of V, and now as you're dragging, um, it's going to snap from that location. And then I can hold Control down, and now my uh, creation is going to happen from uh, the center of the object that's already been vert snapped. And then, uh, so I'll hold control down, let go, and now I can pull down and create a, a quick object that's placed where I want it to be. So that's, uh, that's just in creating objects that's helpful. Um, and then the, the next tip is how to create kind of a hot box, uh, a hot spot selectable node. Uh, so right now we have these big cubes around the FK joints, and that takes a lot of uh, screen space and looks kind of clunky. But um, someone on Twitter asked how to do this as an invisible uh, selection. Um, so what you do is you take your object, and we're going to switch to face mode. I'm going to double click and select all the faces. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and set all the faces with um, normals, hardened edges. And then I'm going to go into the mesh component display. And uh, actually, I need to soften them, not harden. Sorry. One second. Normals, soften edges. There we go. And then we want to say display only hard. and then um, back face calling full and so now it's disappeared but here you can see that uh, it's still a selectable object so if I go to object mode now that object is gone but if I click on it it will show up hide the uh, attribute editor here. Alright, so now if I click here, anywhere near the joint, it will it will show up. And we don't have to have that the uh, the box visible. And if you use something that has more tessellation, obviously you'll hit more of the edges. But uh, I can just swipe nearby there and select the uh, select the node. So there you go. Um, now, if I hit shade mode, though, it's going to sh still shade. So the fix for that is let's go ahead and select our select our object, and then go into the hypergraph connections. And if we take a look at, uh, there's a, there's the shading group here. So I'm just going to select that connection and hit delete. And now it's no longer shaded, but it still will be selectable. And now we get FK hotspot control. So it's just a, a simple tip on how to create some invisible selection areas, but still uh, hide the clutter in the viewport and also um, how to create objects from a snapped pivot point. Hope that helps you guys out, and then enjoy the day.